Hey guys, so today I'm making a review on the Adidas Samba Classic. Um, start with the colorway, you got the just the black leather with the three Adidas stripes and the gold Samba logo. Obviously I've customized this with some blue laces. You have also some blue accents right here. Um, I guess, yeah, just a little bit of blue right here on the Adidas logo, but other than that, not very many blue accents. Uh, just, I just put the blue laces on there. Um, before I start the video, if you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. It's not a very hard thing to do, and it really helps me out a lot. keeps me coming with the videos, um, and I'll be uploading a, a lot more. Um, so, start off with the upper of this shoe. You've got this full grain leather upper, and a shoe like this is one of those shoes that it retails for like $55, and you honestly can't get a better shoe for the money. You, you honestly can't. Um, so start off with the upper. It's this really soft, full grain leather upper. I've treated this with leather food a couple times. Probably should do it right now again after I make this video, obviously. But it's just really, really soft. Um, just a, a really good thickness, too. It's not too thick. It's actually pretty thin. Um, I don't know if you can see my finger. Can't see it a bit, but you can see it a tiny bit. But it's just a really good thickness, and it's really, really soft. This is some of the best full grain leather I've come across while reviewing these shoes, um, and just playing with my friend's shoes. Um, this honestly almost feels as good as the Tiempo Legends that I reviewed. Um, they're all my friends. Obviously, you can check that out. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Um, down there so um but yeah this is some really good quality leather it's really nice and the leather spans all the way around the shoe it's just all leather just really really nice quality and it's just I don't know it's fifty five dollars or sixty five sorry um, but you can pick these up for as low as fifty it's just you can't beat it um so Going to the inside, you've got this the heel lining, you've got this leather heel liner, um, like a leather tongue with some foam in it. Uh, obviously, the laces are that blue color that I was talking to you guys about. That they're the Predator, um, my first unboxing. Um, so, yeah, that's the blue. Um, these will come with black laces if you just buy them. But if you have some retired shoes, obviously, um, I have to wear them kind of untied. I don't really wear these that much for futsal anymore because they don't really fit that well. <laughs> but I basically just keep these loose because they don't really fit when I tie them because these are like fives or something, my predator laces. So um, obviously I'm like a six, six and a half. So yeah. Um, but Going to the sock liner, it's just a die cut UVA sock liner. Uh, obviously, you got your white Adidas logo in there. As, as far as the sole, sole, this is just another thing that for $55 or $65, you really can't beat it. It's this really nice gum rubber sole. It's got just, it's pretty flexible, pretty flimsy actually. But on, on indoor, that's really what you kind of want. You're kind of looking for that. Um, nice flexible feel where you're just not stuck in the ground um, but it's a very aggressive pattern and honestly I think you could use this on uh, the futsal sur surfaces that are turf um, if you guys know what I'm talking about those futsal places that are turf um, obviously I wouldn't recommend this on indoor or like the outdoor turf but those futsal places that are turf definitely this you can get away with this because it's got this really aggressive tread pattern. It's got like one going through here and then one going back here. It's very aggressive. Even if like this is a hardwood floor, it's usually very slippery. It's got some pretty good traction on there. I'm pushing down and trying to move it. And it doesn't move that much. It's very sticky too. Um, then you've got these like suction cups. These three suction cups. And the fourth suction cup looks kind of more like a bullseye target. Um, with the suction cups, they don't really do much but uh, shave weight. I think they're 
there to shave weight. And then you've got this triangular pattern, which provides some pretty good traction. Again, the gum rubber sole is very good. I would You could also get away with this in the street just because the gum rubber sole is very uh, abrasive. It's not very abrasive, I'm sorry. And you've got that suede heel cap in. Um, but yeah, overall, the shoe is just very good. Um, I would recommend this shoe if you're kind of maybe on a budget and you're looking for an indoor shoe. You're starting to play a little more seriously. You got the football season coming up, the, you know, next winter. Uh, definitely, I would definitely check this out if you're on a budget or if you're just looking for the best futsal shoe that you can get, back a pair of futsal shoes. This is definitely one of the better futsal options out there, period. Not just for the ones on the budget. This is definitely a very good, very good quality shoe. Um, so yeah, right, comment, subscribe, guys. Hey guys, so today I'm making a review on the Adidas Samba Classic. Um, start with the colorway. You got the just the black leather with the three Adidas stripes and the gold Samba logo. Obviously, I've customized this with some blue laces. You have also some blue accents right here. Um, I guess yeah, just a little bit of blue right here on the Adidas logo, but. Other than that, not very many blue accents. Uh, just I just put the blue laces on there. Um, before I start the video, if you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. It's not very.